Meanwhile, for the first time, we're learning just how much the immigration crisis is costing. Between $250 and $1,000 per child per day. And lawmakers not happy with that big tab. That is unbelievable. And all of us simultaneously gasp. It's a figure that I thought was shocking. In the whole room, you heard the murmuring. Uh, people were shocked at the costs associated with this. Joining us now to weigh in on this is actor and singer Robert Dobby, who also comes from a family of immigrants, and he's just back from touring parts of the world. Nice to see you, Robert. Welcome great to, to see you. Guys. Great to have you. You always give such great voice in your work. <laughs> What about the voice now uh, for what's going on at the crisis? Your family came here from Italy. Was it 1902? Yeah, well, in the 1900s, early okay. 1900s, between that time and 1915, I think they okay. came. But my, my father's father was Sicilian. He came from Sicily then and enlisted in the U.S. infantry, got two Purple Hearts Oak Leaf Cluster, but the, in, and then my mother's father, same thing, from Naples. But the thing with that, the Italian immigrant at that time, and I think a lot of... Uh, it, prior to the 60s and, and the 70s, was the encouragement of assimilating into the Amer fabric of American society, mm -hmm. the American dream, wanting to become Americans. And the, the, there wasn't an overpopulation of immigrants, so these people were able to assimilate. Sure. My grandfather had to learn English. He went to a class, and they passed around an apple, and he had to say, the apple is red. And he couldn't say, the apple is red. So he got mad. He says, the apple, you... Uh... And he said something else and threw the apple at the woman. But he learned English. And I remember as a young kid, you know, around the table, they would, they, they would say, speak of the English. Right. Speak of the English. Speak because, of the English. Because that's a country. But you, your that's... family came in through Ellis Island, probably. Yeah, they signed they the guest book. Yeah, they signed the guest book. And I think that's one of the things. I wrote about immigration in... 2010, in big Hollywood, I did an article, friends, Romans, GOPers, Tea Partiers, lend me your ears. That was the name of the article. And it was about immigration. It was about, I had a Davi plan of immigration. And, uh, and we've got to secure, I mean, but we, both sides are, are at this. You know what I mean? Both sides are the problem at this. Right. They're both sides of the same coin. They push the can down the, the, the court, and now we've got this catastrophe it's that's mess. happening. It's a mess. And it's continuing to happen. I think we should freeze immigration right now. The, the immigration policy, INS, should be reshaped because even people trying to, I, I came up here with a friend of, not a friend of mine, the driver mm -hmm. was from Pakistan. He told me his family, 10 years trying to come into the country legally and the frustration that they were having trying to come in illegally and with documents. Somebody from Australia told me the same thing, legally. All right, so the INS is broken. Let's fix that. You have to secu secure the borders. The people that are here, got to do something you, with them. You got you to assimilate them. But I think we have to make them learn English, pledge allegiance to the United States of America. None of this in London. I was in London recently. There's a section of London that is governed by Sharia law mm -hmm. only. And the police are not allowed to go in there. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen to America. Not from Sharia law or that, but the, not, not the, the population that's here not being able to fully understand the American uh, way of life sure. or, 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 or the values that we've had and we've grown up with. One of the way, ways of life in America is our love of movies. And it's summer blockbuster season and you make a cameo in Expendables 3, which was, these first movies have been a huge hit. Tell us about your cameo in this film. Well, I mean, I, you know, it's a fun thing to be part of that whole group of guys and uh, the, uh, uh, I play the head of the Albanian Mafia. <laughs> to be quite frank, and, and me and Mel Gibson have a, have, have a little dealing together, and then uh, Sly comes in with the team and disrupts that. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great, uh, it's a, it really it has one of the biggest all-time, it's one of those, those films that had one of those great all-time sure. casts where uh, you know, right, every star Everybody's a big star. Yeah. 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 And this Saturday, big concert for yeah. you? Yeah, big concert at Eisenhower Park. I invite everyone. The Harry Chapin Lakeside Theater, it's a free concert. We had 10,000 people last year. Wow. I want to double that this year, uh, but I'm excited about that. It's uh, uh, Ed Mangano, the Nassau County Executive, puts on these cultural events. That's great. And I have an, a Russian pianist, uh, Svetlana Smolina, one of the world's greatest pianists that's opening, and a comedian, Dave Koenig. Wow. So I do hope everyone comes out to Eisenhower, Eisenhower Park. Park. 
All right. On Long Island. This Saturday. Right, Dobby? Thursday, the 23rd, at Vibrato for America's Mighty Warriors. Uh, John Voigt, yep. uh, um, uh, Gary uh, Bryan and Lisa Stanley, and Br Bruce Sherrod from the Friars are hosting this uh, for the America's Mighty Warriors. So that's at Vibrato in Los Angeles. And I'm sure you've seen we're hosting I'm going to go out and say hello to the guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Tenth anniversary. That's Glad wonderful. You. Yeah, that's great. Robert Rose, always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And you, you smell fantastic. <laughs> you smells fantastic. Hey. <laughs>